And just watching the Pittsburgh game, this is him at the nose. And uh, I notice he's consistently low off the ball, consistent pad level, uh, consistent hand technique, and a really good punch, uh, enabling him to change the line of scrimmage here, or at least uh, penetrate uh, into the backfield and force this back to cut this outside uh, on what looks like a, a design midline run. So real consistent through this game, just kind of moving the guy across from him uh, and finding the ball carrier. This is Justin at 2i. You get a sense of what we were just saying here as well. Uh, low off the ball, watch him drop his hips, get under the, the blocker and really control him in this case. Um, just tosses him aside, and able to get off and make a stop on the ball carrier. Uh, if we watch it from this side, watch, you can really get a sense of him just sinking his hips here and his hand position. Also his ability to to uh, shed right there. I, I, I think the main thing that strikes me is him changing the line of scrimmage. You can see that the back, if he's intending to go this way, has to really reestablish his, his uh, course, and Justin's there to clean up. He's lined up at three tech here. You get a good idea uh, of his play recognition and of his uh, uh, power. They're going to pull this guard. Um, yeah, the tackle's going to work inside. Uh, you're going to see Justin take a, a lateral step inside to that gap uh, and then read the play. Uh, watch the, the pop in his, his uh, outside arm here. It gets right on the shoulder of, of uh, 71, the tackle here. Watch his head jerk back. Bam. The tight end's running this fake uh, split zone. Uh, he's going to go back across the formation the other way. Uh, and the center's going to come over, and Justin feels this as a double team. Um, and watch him move the, the center back as well. So you get that power in his, in his outside arm, and then with his inside arm, virtually the same time, bam, changes the, changes the uh, line of scrimmage, and he forces this tight end to just fold out just a little bit. Now watch him in pursuit. Look at that hustle. Recognizes what's going on, too. Um, gets under that route. And then he goes and chases the quarterback and forces him to flush. Pretty athletic, much more than I gave him credit for. Um, watch it from above. You can get a sense of how he changes the line of scrimmage here. Um, watch him pop the inside shoulder um, of the tackle. And then with his right arm, change the line of scrimmage, get into that center, coming over to get that, that un unoccupied gap. And as we mentioned, that tight end's got to fold it out just a little bit. And just great effort. Um, watch it from the back side. We'll watch it again. See, nice play recognition again, nice uh, adaptation as well. Um, and once again, we see him moving the line of scrimmage. Uh, and in this case, gaining separation, which is a good thing in this case, because um, they're going to try to reach him with this center. He gets out in front of him, good athleticism too, and uh, he stops the ball carrier. If you look at it from the other side, and uh, here he is at three, um, he comes off the ball kind of fully anticipating uh, engaging 66 here. You almost see him kind of stop midstream. It's real subtle here. Understand the flow of the offensive line, uh, blocking right. Get into that inside shoulder of the center. And then that, as you saw from the overhead, um, really moves the center back. And it gets that separation. Um, very fluid. And he's able to get out in front of. You can see him kind of push off with his outside arm there as well. Um, 67 and make a play on the ball carrier. We've been talking about his ability to, to move the line of scrimmage and create um, penetration in the backfield. Um, nice, nice get off here, but, but I want to take the, the next few clips and talk about uh, how he, he can take on double teams. Um, he really does a nice job, I think, in this game of getting uh, the double team on two different levels so they can't drive him down the ball. He's going to instinctively, you see, he's going to anticipate this double team. He's going to instinctively drop his hips, uh, turn into the outside guy in this case here, and move the line of scrimmage, uh, effectively just getting off of one of those blocks. Watch it from this angle here. Kind of splits those two, drives the tackle into the path of the ball carrier. 
Nice job by Pecco as well here, just one on one. Uh, uh, but right here, finding the ball carrier uh, and anticipating his path, trying to get around this block here, kind of just peels back off of it and makes a stop. Okay, let's talk about his uh, ball get off and um, how he takes on double teams. Let's talk about that a little further. Real nice off the ball. Uh, he's going to anticipate this double team. He's going to try to get these guys on two different levels so that they can't drive and climb. First thing he's going to do is attack his post, which in this case is, is uh, 66. He's shaded over him, or outside of him rather. Uh, he's going to instinctively, at that point, kind of pivot into the pressure of the second lineman, the guard, excuse me, the tackle, and attach himself, his inside arm, to uh, 66 here. He's going to kind of pull him. You'll see that, see that at the end there? He's going to pull him so he doesn't have um, uh, balance. He's, that's what he's doing. He's attaching his inside arm uh, to 66. You see him jerk him there at the end. So the, the most important thing is that he holds up. Um, at the line of scrimmage, he's not moved by the double team, allowing um, linebackers to kind of climb or scrape, rather, or shuffle and scrape, or, or um, just attack a gap. Uh, the other thing is you see his technique. Again, he kind of pivots himself into the, the, the um, pressure uh, that the tackle's creating here. Uh, it's good playing with good pads here. He's got his inside arm attached to 66, and he's pulling him toward him, pulling him off balance. Right there, you see that? See that pivot into the tackle and that pull of 66. So that's great take on um, on his part. This is a real good uh, illustration of the technique we described in the last clip. And even though he kind of ends up on the ground here, you see him anticipating this double team. See so get his dip his shoulder, attack uh, his post, uh, and beat this block. Watch that. Watch uh, the tackle here ends up on the ground. What what he's doing is occupying both blockers. And what you see is the middle linebacker here able to kind of hang out in that gap and close that off. Um, so he's not moving. He's beating that double team by attacking uh, his post uh, and leaving this guy basically whiffing. Um, just the anticipation's great. The ball get off is great. The pad level is great. And the timing there is great. Um, and he ends up kind of getting driven. But you can see what, we're, what he's after there is occupying these two guys, not allowing them to climb. Uh, and making these, uh, giving the opportunity to these linebackers to be free um, to go get the ball. You can see, uh, I guess it's Owasso here, probably could shoot this gap a little bit uh, in anticipation, um, but, but this double team comes off, and that's not allowed to happen here uh, because of um, Justin Ellis' uh, taking on of that double team. Just nice work up front.